Hey guys, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? Yeah, so I have an idea that I want to share with you because it just seemed to pop into my reality that a lot of people are on a detox kick, which is great. A physical detox is excellent because there's so many metals and impurities in our food and what we're doing, what, you know, like especially if you drink a lot or smoke a lot or whatever, or exposed to toxins in your work environment. It's really important to take care of your body and to be mindful of what you put in the body as far as food and drink. However, there is another aspect of detoxing that I'd like to talk to you about is our heart space, our emotional space. What do we keep in our heart and in our energy field? Because that, in my opinion, is really the start of a detox. You can detox the body all you want, but if you're still holding on to anger, grief, pain, sorrow, uh, any kind of negative, heavy, dense emotion, that's going to impact your physical body in a way that you can eat all the right food you want to. You can drink uh, water with lemon and you can be out, super alkaline. But if you're holding on to negative emotions, painful emotion, that will send your body into illness and disease. Um, no matter, you can, you can do all the right things, but there's still heaviness and sadness that's affecting your body or anger, or, or you, you know, if you've got really dense emotions or memories that you just can't seem to let go of, if you can't forgive that person that injured you or betrayed you years ago, eons ago, that anger and rage and bitterness is stewing away inside your body. So, and you may be wondering, wow, why am I not, why am I not feeling better? I'm doing all the right things. I'm eating good food. I'm doing this. I'm exercising. I'm going to the gym, whatever. But you still feel bad and yucky inside. Well, it's time to detox the heart space. It's time to really be honest about what is going on inside of you. What are you holding on to? And it might be time to really get brutally honest with yourself and say, wow, wow, I have been holding on to this for a long time and it's not hurting anyone but you or me. Um, because sometimes, you know, that there's that slogan that um, resentment and unforgiveness, holding someone in anger is really just drinking a poison, thinking someone else is going to die, but you're the one that's killing yourself with unforgiveness and resentful and attitudes. So anyway, so I say this to invite you to take a look. Just take some time with no judgment. You're not judging yourself harshly. You're just sitting with the part of you that is really holding on to some heaviness. And it's time to give that part of you love and compassion and let all that stuff come up. I almost feel like it's almost like a vomit that wants to come up. You've been holding in this vomit <laughs> and it needs to come out because it's going to make you sicker and sicker and sicker. The way, the longer you hold it, the more it's going to make you sick. Um, cancer, ulcers, all kinds of illness. I can feel it. I can feel it coming forward. So just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So I. I plead you to just take some time to give yourself love and affection and care. Care enough to let go of the heavy things that you've been holding on to. And if you desire support, if you feel like things may be too heavy for you to look at by yourself, I would be honored to look at them with you, to be with you in the spirit, on the phone, or if you're local, in, the per in person, we can have a freedom session just slowly whatever comes up memory by memory, releasing that memory with compassion, with love, with kindness and grace and forgiveness. And remember, forgiveness does not condone what happened. Forgiveness just simply lifts off that heaviness that you're holding on to, the pain that you're holding on to. Forgiveness releases you from the person and you're no longer linked energetically to that person. And it's, I'm telling you, it does wonders to the soul, to the body. So 
Anyway, if you'd like a free consultation, give me a call. You know, my phone number is underneath 808-214-0434. Just give me a call. We can set up a consultation or email me, jackie.vanderveld at yahoo.com. Go to my website, www.sacredjourneyguide.com. Can check out my services but um it really is important to be emotionally free so i can't i can't articulate this enough it's really really important and um so anyway i just send you lots of love and light and blessings as you release the toxins that you may be holding inside that you don't even know all right my friends i'll talk to you later have a good day bye